guys, welcome back to Death From Above 40K. It's that time of the week again, it's battle report time, and we're gonna get it done. So, we've got the Iron Warriors back on the channel, and now they're taking on the Space Wolves. So, there's been a few changes to the Iron Wolves, uh, Iron Wolves, <laughs> Iron Warriors, uh, but the Space Wolves are the same as the last list that was on the channel, because I'm running the Iron Warriors, and Jakey Boy's running the Space Wolves. So he wanted the list to be the same as last time, because he knows how it works. So, we'll go through the two lists and uh, we'll break it down, then we'll roll permission. So, we'll start with the Space Wolves. So, 1,500 points of Space Wolves. What do we have in the list? So, we've got a battalion. And heading off that battalion is the Warlord. So, Wolf Lord on Thunderwolf. Two Wolf Claws. Um, he is the Warlord, so he's got Mastercraft of Wolf Claws as an upgrade. And he's got Saga of the Wolfkin, so extra attack on the charge. So lots of attacks for him, lots of choppy goodness. Then if we come over here, we've got a, a Wolfguard Battle Leader. He's got a Thunderhammer Storm Shield, and he'll be taking the Wolfen Stone. So we've paid the extra command point. Oh, sorry, not extra command. Yeah, command point. Give him the extra relic. So the two relics are Mastercraft of Wolf Claws, Wolf Stone. All right. Then, for troops, we've got Grey Hunters, six of. So, five of them have got Chainswords, four with Bolters, one with Plasma Gun. Then we've got the Wolfguard Terminator at the front with Storm Bolter and Power Fist. Coming across to here, four Intercessors, Auto Bolt Rifles, Power Fist on the Pack Leader. Over here, we've got Blood Claws. They've got uh, Wolfguard Leader with Thunderhammer, Storm Shield, Terminator Armor. Behind them, Pack Leader with Power Fist, and then just... Four of them with chainsaw bolt pistol. So that's the troops. Then we've got a heavy detachment led by Bjorn. So we've got Bjorn the Fell Handed. You know him, you love him. True Claw, Laz Cannons, Flamethrower. Next to him, Long Fangs. We've got three with Rocket, two with Laz, Pack Leader, then Wolfguard Battle. Wolfguard Battle, so much wolf stuff here. Uh, Wolfguard Terminator with Rockets, Wolf Claw, and Storm Bolter. Coming across here, we've got another Long Fang squad, six of, one pack leader, five with heavy boulders. Then if we come over the back here, we've got the Whirlwind with the Vengeance rounds, which is Strength 7, AP 1, Damage 2. So, that brings the Wolves in at 1,500 points, and they had nine command points, ten command points because Bjorn, then they've spent one on a Relic, so they'll be going into battle with nine command points. All right, we'll go have a look at the army I'll be heading up, the Iron Warriors, with a few changes. So, what have we done here? First off, we got a battalion. So, in the battalion, instead of the Lord today, we've gone with the Exalted Champion. Um, so, he's got a Power Axe, and the whole idea is because he's going to run in with all this sort of stuff, and he gives rerolls to wound in combat. So, there's a little bit of a, you know, thing going on there. Then we've got a Master of Possession. He just comes with his staff. He's got Infernal Power and Sacrifice. So the power to heal machines and the power to give reroll ones to hit and wound for demon engines. He'll also be taking the Exoskeleton, which is a relic. So that'll be him. Then we've got for troops, one, two, three six-man units. Um, Laz Cannon in each of them. And then the uh, champions just got chainsawed bolt gun. Then we've got uh, possessed, possessed, or sorry, graded possessed, two graded possessed. Then we got three obliterators. And then we got a hell turkey with the bale flamer. So he's in the list today for something different. And then we've got a spearhead detachment led by the Lord Discordant on Hellstalker. Now he'll be the warlord today. So he's going to have. Incendium as an artifact, so that gives him plus one strength, toughness, and wound. And then his warlord trait will be iron within, iron without. So he'll be the warlord for the army. That gives him a five up, feel no pain. Coming across here in his heavy slot, he's got one, two, and three venom crawlers, all just ready to scurry along the battlefield. So, whoop, <laughs> I just nearly dropped my phone that I was reading on there. Sorry about that, guys. Bit of a bit of handy camera work phone in one hand, camera in the other. So that list comes in at 1500 points and it also was 
nine command points to start with, but as with the space, we've spent one on a relic, so we'll be going into the battle with eight of them. So, we're gonna have Iron Warriors taking on Space Wolves. Bit of uh, Vikings versus Berserkers, all that good stuff. We'll get onto it, and we will see who comes out on top. Righto guys, we've uh, rolled up a mission. It's a bit of a story time. So, here's the backstory to this one. We've got, after the fall of Cadia, this same Chaos Force has needed to refuel its battle barges and it has landed here on this desolate, overrun, bloody scumbag planet in the middle of nowhere, bit of a desert. We'll call it, buddy. Planet crap hole. <laughs> no, just joking. They've stopped here to refuel, so we thought it'd be appropriate because we've rolled up the relic, and in the center there, you can see the objective in this massive pumping station, Imperial Bastion. So, you know, this is a, a planet designed for refining fuels and all that sort of stuff. So, they've come here, and in the midst of it, the Space Wolves were in the nearby sector, heard there was some chaos, and just were like, mate. We love a good punch on. So, Jakey Boy rolled the highest, so he got to pick the deployment, and he's picked uh, the standard 12 inch deployment. I got to set up first. So, we'll start from the right hand side and work our way across. All the way over on the right, I put the Hell Turkey here. Coming across, we've got a unit of six guys here with a LAS cannon. Then, in the center here, we got three spiders at the front, um, the Lord of Possession. Then we got the champion over here, then behind them Lord Discord and either side of the two greater possessed because this is all one big buff bubble because that's 8th edition in a nutshell. Then over here we've got another 6 man unit with a LAS cannon and then over in this fueling station over here we have another 6 man unit with a LAS cannon. In Deep Strike Reserve they've kept the obliterators in there. I was arming an arm whether to start them on the uh, battlefield with first turn but I went with Deep Strike. Give me an edge so we will see if that pays off in the end. All right, Jakey Boy's decided to put everything on the battlefield even though he's going second. So what has he done? Starting from the right over here near these barrels and he's sort of in this old desert town here, ready to come forward into the station. So on the top here, he's got the Heavy Bolter Long Fang crew with a nice little lookout over here. Behind, he's got the Whirlwind, ready to blow some stuff up. Coming across, Bjorn at the back in support. In front of him, five-man intercessor squad. In front of them, we've got five Thunderwolf Cav, and there's also the Wolf Lord in there with them. Uh, over here in front, he's got the Blood Claw Pack six man at the front, followed up by the Grey Hunter squad just behind them. Then, if we go over here, we've got the Wolfguard Battle Leader sort of doing something in that building. Don't ask questions. Then, we've got another Long Fang squad because he was able to counter set up just looking straight into this wall of spiders. So. At this current juncture, that is the setup. The um, Space Wolves have second turn and the Iron Warriors will be going first. Would you like to seize the initiative? All right, have a roll at it, mate. You rolled a two. That means once again, Chaos will be going first and you're gonna get shot at first. All right, so these guys will start raiding this fuel station removing this imperial scum it's hard on me sometimes these are all these are all my armies you know just abusing them and stuff but anyway we'll have chaos turn one and we'll get back to you guys chaos turn one has been had it was a quick round so pretty much every unit like these back ones they stayed back where they were for now didn't do anything then there was the Hell Turkey from the right here come flying over here, targeting these guys up in here. Then all of these guys pushed from here up to here. So these guys all just moved their normal distance and these things all behind ran to keep up. Uh, psychic power wise, he cast off his power to, I think it's called Infernal Power, to give reroll ones to hit and wound for demon weapons. All right, then all these spiders, this guy, and the Hell Turkey shot into the Longfangs up here and killed four of them. So the 
the three rockets and the sergeant. So there's two LAS cannons and the, the pack leader left in there. This tried to charge as well, but failed. Got shot at, nothing happened there. So that's Chaos Turn 1. Solid push forward. Going for that, that relic in there, sort of putting the pressure on him. We'll see what happens, see if he can uh, retaliate. I'm sure he can with all this uh, Space Wolf goodness and, and see what he can do, come back at me. All right, we'll get back to you in a minute. All right, guys, end of Space Wolf's turn two. Jakey boys hit back like a ton of bricks. Let's go over it. So, Whirlwind, Long Fangs, Long Fangs up here. Shot over here and killed a spider. All these guys here ran in, assaulted, and smashed another spider. This guy lost three wounds in retaliation. Then if we come over here, these guys ran into the Hell Turkey, took six wounds off him, lost one to Flamer on the way in. Sorry about that. Um, there's a little bit of shooting here and there going like small arms fire over this way and a few other bits and bobs. But other than that, he's scored himself first strike and put a real good dominance on the center of the battlefield here. So we've got to ourselves a bit of a battle on our hands now because I've got to retaliate here. I've lost two spiders and he's, he's put me in a predicament. So we'll have space, uh, sorry, chaos turn two. And um, we'll get back to you in a minute and see if I can't return the favor and get some points myself. All right, guys. All right, guys, end of chaos turn two. So, movement-wise, these guys across here have all sort of pushed forward a bit, coming out. They didn't do a real lot uh, shooting-wise. They shot their las cannons off and they shot their bolt guns off, but they actually didn't do any damage across the three units. That's okay. Obliterators came down here and wiped out the blood claws that were here. This thing flew out of combat and tried to burn these guys. It also, I used the stratagem to heal him up four wounds. The stratagem heals him three wounds, but then he heals one wound naturally on his own. So he's only lost two at this point. Um, combat here. So the stalker and this guy ran around here. And between the two of them, they managed to wipe out two thunder wolves. And then there was a greater possessed that ran in here and took four wounds off the wolf lord. Periled when the Wolf Lord attacked back and, and crushed him. And then this other greater possessed took out the Wolf Guard battle leader. So there was a lot of combat shenanigans going on in there. And we managed to kill some stuff. But I don't think it was as much stuff. At, oh, well, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. It's sort of a tight one at this moment. Because with all this stuff over here and that. This could be a mistake. And they could retaliate and smash me back. But anyway, we'll go on to Space Wolves turn two. And, um... We'll see what we can do. All right guys, end of Space Wolf turn two. So they've pressed forward and they've sort of taken control of this center field um, and also holding the relic. So if we go over it, the pretty much this side here, because they've gone into the tactical doctrine. Um, so we had the heavy boulders, the whirlwind, these guys shoot over here and delete these guys out of here. We had these uh, intercessors shoot through here and drop these guys down to two, but they survived their morale check. We had Bjorn and these guys shoot the Hell Turkey off the map. Then Bjorn ran into this spider here and took nine wounds off him in combat and didn't suffer any back himself. Then over here we had a bit of a weird sort of thing go on. This guy had a bit of trouble killing Thunderwolves, but he did manage to kill another one. And then um, the Wolf Lord ran in and he killed the champion. He also killed the Greater Possessed by splitting his attacks. Then he consolidated into this guy and this guy actually beat him down and took his last couple of wounds off him. So it was a bit of a back and forth here in the center here. The Space Wolves and the Iron Warriors both have a lot of stuff still on the battlefield, but it is coming down to that uh, gritty, gritty war stuff here. So we'll just have to see what happens. We'll go and um, see if we can't get these guys off here. Jake's grinning because he's, he's just smashed up a heap of my stuff, but um, hopefully I'll be grinning in a minute when I smash up some of his stuff. So we'll get back to you at uh, Chaos Turn 3 and, and see what happens. All right, guys. Alright guys, end of Chaos Turn 3. So, movement wise, these guys here have manoeuvred in a fashion that puts them sort of out of line of sight of the guys inside here. 
and around here just to sort of keep them alive because they're troops choices and I want to run in there and try and grab that relic. They're shooting, they shot some laser cannons at some long fangs up in this building and it didn't do anything. But then what did do something is these guys, uh, the obliterators shot up into the building and deleted them out of the building which was kind of handy. Uh, the Master of Possession come around here and he cast his infernal power giving all these guys sort of a bubble of six of the reroll ones to hit and wound. Took a wound himself to do it. And then his other psychic power he healed. Uh, this guy D3 wounds back up to full because he also heals himself one but then he lost one in the combat and then this guy didn't do anything in the combat he didn't kill any wolves their shields held up against all of his attacks so he's held there then over here the spider attacked Bjorn which I used the stratagem on him to heal him four wounds which brought him up to halfway get him another attack he took two wounds off Bjorn then Bjorn turned around and just fucking bitch slapped him into the dirt there was nothing more to it so that's what happens when you mess with the oldest space marine in existence. I can't even say in existence. All right, so at the end of Chaos Turn 3, we have hit back, but I'm pretty whittled down. I've only got the Obliterators, these two characters, and a couple of troops. Maybe I went at it too hard, or maybe the Space Wolves are just too tough. Who knows? We'll let them have their Turn 3, and uh, we'll find out what happens. All right, guys. End of Space Wolf Turn 3, and they, uh, they've, they've seriously taken a fair bit of control of this battlefield, and it's not looking good. So we'll start with this unit, the long fangs here that came down out of the building, and this unit shot across into the obliterators and took three wounds off one of them. Bjorn attempted to shoot at them as well, but failed. But split fire and heavy flame it into this guy, took taking two wounds off him. So he's uh, lost three, he's on his last one. Then Bjorn ran in and just crushed the Lord Discordant. Just no issues, just smashed his face in. Then these guys consolidated this way. Then these guys shot into this bigger unit, killing a bunch of them, and then double assaulted. Killed the two-man unit here and killed a few more in here, leaving one two. Then these guys retaliated back and took a wound back. So, at this current juncture, this, all I have left on the battlefield is this guy and my obliterators. So, I'll have a quick round, see if I can uh, do anything with them, and uh, we'll get back to you in a minute. This could be a uh, real short, sweet, and bitter for the old Iron Warriors. Killing eight foot tall space marines is not as easy as killing squishy guardsmen. All right. Alright guys, at the end of Chaos Turn 4, it is all over and I have been tabled on my own turn. So, what happened? Pretty much, there's not much to tell. The guys over here obviously got beat down by these Space Wolves because Primaris Marines are bigger and badder than my little Chaos Space Marines, but let's not whinge about that, that's for another day. Then over here, I walked forward with the Lord of Possession and the Obliterators. I took out the Wolfgar, uh, sorry, the last Thunderwolf, one with a smite and one with shooting from the um, Obliterators. Then we heroically, um, I realised that he was going to just heroically intervene anyway because I'd come too far forward because I thought I have to sort of make my way over here. And then, uh, but you, you know, Bjorn, he just single-handedly obliterated everything. So, I don't know if I just... Uh, this was, this was a severe ass whooping. Some days you just have those matches where the uh, you go up against an army and it just it just annihilates you. And today, Jakey brought it with the Space Wolves. So that is a Space Wolf victory. There's no doubt that Bjorn single-handedly just did the most damage once again to my army. Killing spiders, killing Lord Discordance, shooting hell drakes out of the sky. Like, if, you, if you're playing Space Wolves, this guy is your man. Um... Bang for buck, he's just he's absolute beat stick in all aspects. You know, he's got the long range firepower, the short range firepower, the combat, the survivability, you name it, he's got it. On my behalf, I'm not giving a man a match today because, well, I got tabled. So it's a bit hard to give a man of the match when no one was brave enough to stay on the battlefield. So this one was a bit short and sweet. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. It was a, it was a bit of a grind. 
I, I love throwing all my models into the into the fray. I don't hold back just to try and, you know, especially when it's a relic mission anyway, you can't hold back, can't sit on the back objective sort of racking up points. So that's how it went and um, we'll see you in the next one.